Hey Gemini, this is going to be your reading for July 22nd, 2020. Is that the date? But anyway, this is going to be your weekly reading for Gemini. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so this will not resonate for all Geminis out there. Also, keep in mind that energies can be reversed. I can be talking about you or your person. And... Time is fluid, so whenever you see this video is whenever you're supposed to see it, right? Any messages for the sign of Gemini? Sun, rising, Venus signs. One more for Gemini. One more for Gemini. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We have guilt, gratitude. Discipline, blame, and judgment. All right, Gemini. What's going on here? Um, someone is realizing something that they did wrong. I'm thinking maybe they did a wrong judgment. Uh, they judged someone wrong. Why is guilt here for Gemini? Why is guilt here for Gemini? Four of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, yeah, Four of, oh, I'm sorry, this is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Alright, why is Gratitude here for Gemini, Someone Rising Venus signs? The Chariot. So someone is definitely mo moving forward, making progress here. Um, but I also see an energy in guilt. Uh, they feel like something is a missed opportunity, take it how it resonates. Why is judgment here for Gemini? The moon card. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, yeah, something definitely came out. And when it came out, um, it was definitely something hidden with the, this moon card here. Someone had to use their intuition when it came to a judgment. Why is discipline here? Ah, Queen of Pentacles wanted to come out for discipline. So I feel like a lot of you are in this motherly energy. Um, someone sees you as someone that's very stable and focused on her finances. She takes care of herself and her home. Um, why is blame here for Gemini? Alright, Six of Wands. <clears throat> So I'm really getting this energy, first of all, you're not blaming anybody. I don't think you're blaming anybody in your life for anything because we have the six of wands here, represents overcoming things. Um, I get the energy of someone being over something, right? It's like victory, overcoming something. But we have this four of cups here, clarified um, for guilt here. Um someone sees someone as a missed opportunity whoever is moving forward they're definitely making progress and something definitely came out but you're not necessarily something came out but you're not necessarily judging this person you're just over it right And it's like one of those things that you had to learn how to do as a Queen of Pentacles with this discipline card here. Um, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. It's like you're focused on your money anyway. You're not even dealing with this energy right now. But this energy does feel guilt. They feel like something is a missed opportunity. Alright, let's get into the tarot. What is the message for Gemini right now? What's the message for the sign of Gemini right now? Someone writes a signs. 
What is the message for the sign of Gemini? Gemini, signs of Venus signs. One more time. There we go. Alright, so we have the Page of Cups crossing that as the Three of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, the Moon card. There's that Six of Wands and the Moon card again. Queen of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords. Gemini, someone has their eye on you. They're watching you, right? But I'm also getting the energy of you sort of being cold to somebody. You're not really giving someone attention or someone's not giving you attention. Um, detached energy. But it's also an energy of someone using logic when it comes to doing something here. With this moon card popping up again, this is telling me once again that something came out. Um, but I'm also getting the energy of you being in your Queen of Swords position. You are very... Um, the Queen of Swords can be intuitive just like the High Priestess. Because she uses her logic. I, I'm, I'm getting that the Queen of Swords... I, this is you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy anyway. I feel like the Queen of Swords is very um, logical. And it's because she's been through a lot, right? So she sees, you know, things coming a mile away, right? She's been through. You can't fool... A queen of swords who's always in her head right um there's an energy down here of someone who has feelings for you right queen of cups water energy could be dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpio but this queen of cups um is not necessarily in her uh, head but she's in her emotions a lot um if this is a mature queen of cups she is very balanced with her emotions i feel like uh, your person sees you as the Queen of Cups and also the Queen of Swords because I don't think that you guys are talking right now. With this Three of Swords and the Page of Cups, I feel like this person wants to heal something that they did to your heart. They could probably message you and want to give you a, um, um, maybe a, just a love offer, just a message, a, an expression of love. Why is the Queen of Swords here? For Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Swords here for Gemini? Six of Cups. Um, I feel like this person is watching you. Yeah, they have their eye on you. They're definitely watching you. We have the Six of Wands here. You could have a lot of tension on you. Um, they see success and victory with you. So it's like one of those things where right now someone's not happy someone cut out something here because something came out that's what i'm hearing why is the moon card here for gemini what's this moon card about the emperor someone did use their intuition they did take control Maybe it was about a masculine energy. Maybe it was like hidden, hidden controlling motives. Something that a Gemini will never deal with, right? If you're an air sign, you don't deal with control too well. Um, air signs like to be free. Um, why is the Six of Wands here for Gemini? nine of swords so yeah this person is definitely in their head like i said in the beginning this person feels like this is a missed opportunity they're having anxiety um some of them may have a hard time sleeping but this is just the mood that they're in right now they're in really high anxiety and stress you could be getting a lot of attention why is the queen of cups here for gemini so many rising venus signs the lovers yes they love you they choose you gemini and then we have the lovers here too same card different deck it's like they really do have feelings for you they want to give you an expression of love but i really feel like this person <sighs> maybe they said something 
They see you as soulmate energy, though. They're looking at the past, at what they did. They're having sort of nostalgia. All right. Why is the three of hearts here? Three of hearts. Why is the three of swords here for Gemini? Eight of cups. Someone could have walked away out of um, being hurt. But I'm really feeling like maybe someone walked away and maybe hurt your heart. Page of Cups and the Three of Swords. That's really uh, emotional energy there. It kind of tells me about somebody who wants to um, bring in an offer and heal things. Why is the Page of Cups here for Gemini? This person has deep feelings for you. Yeah. They feel like four cups again, like in the beginning of the reading. They feel like this is a missed opportunity with you. Or I could be talking about your person's energy. Um, or I'm sorry. I could be talking about how you feel towards your person. Keep in mind, tarot can be reversed. But I really feel like someone wants to come towards you. And they just, they fear of being rejected. Maybe this person knows that they rejected you. Alright. Why is the lovers here for Gemini? This is your energy, by the way, the lovers. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Behind that is the Ace of Swords. So, this person knows that they love you. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Right, like in the beginning of the reading also she popped up and it uh, talked about discipline I really feel like this person feels that you're very disciplined and strong maybe I don't see the strength card but I do see the Queen of Swords she's very um, to the point she doesn't really play when it comes to her emotions in fact she knows how to turn them things off quick and I think this person sees that within you and they want to give you an offer, but it's like something was hidden and it came out. Whether it be internally or externally, maybe it was one of those things that you had a gut feeling about. And they don't even know that you're mad about mad at them or something like that, but someone used their intuition and something came out. Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini? Seven rising Venus signs. Hold on. Any messages for Gemini? Oh, great. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Maybe someone needs to release their ex, Gemini, before they come towards you. Maybe that's what came out. A third party energy. I don't see it in the cards, but... Or maybe for some of you, you have to release this person. You, maybe you know you have to release this person. I don't see toxic energy though either. So this is for somebody. Release your ex. Release your ex is also a card of releasing your expectations about something or someone. So take that how it resonates. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. This person could have some issues when it comes to codependency. Codependency are addictions. Addictions can be anything between shopping, gambling, sex, drugs, money, any of that. Anything that's like um, sort of getting in the way of you sort of loving yourself, I'm hearing. What else for Gemini? Alright, religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You two could have totally different uh, families. I'm hearing. Um, I really feel like you're releasing this person, but they really do want to come back. It's just that there's some things in the way, and I really feel like the things in the way don't necessarily have anything to do with you. I feel like it has to do with their own issues, their codependency issues. Maybe they're dealing with an ex. Um, maybe they have addictions that can ruin this um, connection. Maybe controlling addictions. Um, also, the way they were raised is probably a little bit different than you. Right? But they do have feelings for you. And I will say, to close this reading out, that they do choose you when it comes to love. 
but the energy right now is cold on your end, Gemini. All right, that was your reading so far. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, if you needed a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.